Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of The Fast Ratio. Today we're going to look at a Bluetooth headset that is a Max Toe M3. This is not an unboxing, it's a uh, review about 12 months on. I bought it back in February and is now October. So it's going to be the pros and cons. So I purchased the Maxto M3 back in February 2021. Uh, I bought it for the camera. So the previous one that I had was uh, the FOD Sports BTS2. Uh, I've been a fan of trying to see how I can avoid having to spend almost a thousand dollars on a headset. Uh, and as far as I can see, these stuck up. Uh, so this one in particular, nothing was wrong with this one, just didn't do video anymore. Uh, I wanted something that was going to do uh, some video dash cam slash when I go for my longer rides, giving me footage of my trip. Uh, so I'll show you some uh, examples of some of the footage. The quality of the video is pretty good. Uh, it's not the greatest footage, it's not going to be 4K. Uh, I believe that it records in uh, yeah, 1080p is what they claim. Uh, I don't know how you're going to necessarily test that, uh, but I've found the quality is pretty good. I can read number of plates uh, if I get cut off or anything like that. It's pretty clear to see the number of plate. So uh, from a detail perspective, it's it's pretty good. Um, the other benefits to this is you can do group intercom. Uh, it works up to a kilometer apparently line of sight to other headsets. Uh, it's got a Wi-Fi connection. It's waterproof. Uh, the other main reasons I like these is Bluetooth, so I can have my music play, take phone calls. Um, they're the main main reasons for why I like having a, a Bluetooth headset. I know a lot of motorbike riders uh, prefer going on the ride for the ride, not being interrupted. Uh, the other thing is it has uh, in what they call intelligent anti-shake. Uh, it also picks up, so if, if it gets knocked or there's uh, abrupt um, impact it'll trigger and it'll like flag it and save it into a separate folder uh, as an accident um, recording so you'll you don't have to dig through footage looking for uh, the footage so how have i found it i found it was really easy to install uh, obviously i installed this one it was pretty much the same um, thing i did like with this is it comes with a fixed boom for a open face helmet as well as a soft mic, which most other kits only came with a soft mic or uh, fixed if you had you had to specify it in, in the purchase. Um, ease of use, it was very easy to install and very easy to use. And it's all uh, automated, uh, oh, it's all sound uh, guided. So, uh, yeah, really need to have the headset plugged in uh, in order to hear whether it's turned on. There is LED indicators, however, I find that listening is much easier to set it up. Uh, so you've got a charge port as well. One of the other things I liked is this unit can charge on the go. So if you're on a long ride, you can actually run a line from that into your USB on the bike or have a battery pack on your in your pocket uh, and it can be charging simultaneously whilst uh, connected and running live. Uh, I purchased a I purchased a 128 gig chip or card and so far I have recently just filled it up uh, so I record all my commutes and I've done three day rides 
uh, and that's at capacity now. So what it will do is just start recording over the oldest footage. Uh, you can connect it wirelessly to uh, your phone and you can get the app. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that because it was kind of clunky. That was my personal opinion on it. Uh, the only improvement I did find is I sat this down once and it snapped off one of the legs. Uh, so now it's a little precarious how it uh, sits on the helmet. Uh, and if it's bumped enough, it can actually fall off. So that was a bit of a down point. However, for 150 Australian dollars, I think I'm still ahead uh, versus a Cena or similar uh, in price. So yes, battery life on this, I often will get about a fortnight of commuting uh, to and from work, and that's running with the camera going and with music playing. So constant Bluetooth music feedback. Um, Core quality uh, is fantastic. I've not had anybody not be able to hear me or say it's muffled or anything. I've gone into meetings uh, on it and I've had them unaware that I was even on a motorbike uh, until I turned on my camera uh, just for, for funds. And they saw I was wearing a helmet and they were baffled at where I was and why it was such good quality. So uh, that was very good. Um, Music quality is fantastic. Uh, so I said the video quality, I can't pin it. Um, installation was easy. Uh, like I said, 150 Australian dollars, and that was back in February, and that's currently still about that mark. So I'll put the link in the description. Um, I can't can't fault it to be honest. Uh, like I said, that clip um, breaking, that was purely just I was a little rough sitting it down one day and it got clipped. So it's sort of my fault, not really a, a, a downer on the product itself. Um, yeah, ease of use. Like I say, you've got a multi um, jogger wheel, so up and down or forwards, backwards. Changes tracks, so you can do it on the fly. Power button uh, for uh, on and off of the Bluetooth elements, so that's your music and calls. You've got uh, turning on and off the DVR, taking stills and if you press and hold it it will then connect the Wi-Fi uh, to connect your phone up. Um, getting the video and footage stuff off it, I find it's more streamlined to plug it in, you have to charge it. I plug it into my computer, it charges and I can pull down my videos and, and stuff. You can do it through their app. Again, I didn't find that so uh, user intuitive or easy to use. So instead I preferred connecting it up to charge it. That's pretty much uh, all that I can state on that. It's been a great headset. I'd recommend it to anyone that wants to buy one. Uh, if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe, I've got plenty more content coming. If you are interested in how you install a Bluetooth headset, also hit me up on that. I'm happy to run a, a tutorial on that. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.